Hey guys, it's Bo here with the 90 degree keyboard angle and today has been a day for Rainbow Six Siege. Man, the pot has been stirred because rumor has it, allegedly, and more than likely, the 1.5 site, that dreaded 1.5 site that has made those Jaeger, I'm uh, not Jaeger, Warden mains crawl out of their holes so they can spawn peek everyone on attack, is finally going away and we're going to talk about it today, so let's get right into it. I, you know, today on stream, I probably had a million questions being asked to me about the 1.5 site. Even conversations with teammates was around the 1.5 site. And here are my thoughts on it. I didn't really, I mean, I, I kind of gave my two cents about it on stream, but I feel like I have time after stream now to really talk about what how I feel. Now, first, we look at Twitter. Honestly, Twitter has been a huge pool of news about this. The graphic for the trailer preview or more to come on siege preview that uh, rainbow six siege official page tweeted out shows a picture of a holographic this is what kind of kicked everything off initially when i saw it i was along with everybody jumping to the comments section and going and confirming my thoughts of oh my gosh the 1.5 site is gone and throughout the day i've been thinking the 1.5 site is gone the 1.5 site is gone i'm so excited the 1.5 site is gone and as the day goes on i strongly and and started to really go why are we getting the rid of the 1.5 site now i have some patch notes that i will release on this video as well i'll put them up here for you guys i'm gonna read them with you this is a leaked screenshot from a tiktoker called r6 leaks that's clever on this it looks like an official dev page so let's go through it so we're going to do a weapon attachment changes it seems like the 1.5 will be removed the two and three times will stay, which honestly, I'm glad they can't get rid of the two and three times. It, they just they added those, but, you know, those, those, they do serve a purpose. However, they will be more occlusive. It's going to be interesting what ops we're going to get them on. I Maybe the two times I, I if they put it on a Rooney with the DMR or two of a row, it would be overpowered because defense, in my opinion, is way overpowered. But it would make sense having those sights on the DMR or keeping those two times sights on the shotguns that... Um, Cade and Goyo have, but I digress. Here we go. They'll be more inclusive. The Rainbow Six Siege does not want the two times to be the new 1.5. Okay, I understand that, but in my opinion, well, well, we'll get to my opinion. Majority of attackers will, re will receive an ACOG, which is kind of going back to how old Siege was. And defenders who had the ACOG originally, Doc, Rook, and it says etc. here. I don't know why they didn't put Jaeger. Maybe Jaeger won't. Maybe Jaeger will have a two-time site. We'll see. We'll also receive it. Honestly, we were talking about this today on stream, and I can't wait to use the SMG-11 again with the ACOG. Yes, that was a thing. Jaeger ACOG was also a thing. A Bandit MP7 was a thing. Maestro LMG with the ACOG was a thing. I'm actually kind of excited that these did these attachments come back it's gonna feel like old siege and it's gonna be kind of cool i know i'm a little excited a new grip will be introduced it allows you to maintain speed while adsing removing the ads penalty the repel changes <clears throat> so we're getting repel changes this once again allegedly this is a leak we don't know really what this is if it's really going to be if this is just stuff that they threw at the wall to let it just stick there if it's actual things that they're putting into the game you know we don't know but we're going to read through it so repel system changes faster to enter and exit repel which i kind of feel like it, it i think that's fine um it kind of penalizes you if you try and swing into a site or try and get out get away and hold a cheeky angle repelling you can enter repel while sprinting. That's interesting. Um, advanced entry detection. Um, so then we got operator changes. The only one they have for here is a zombie. And this is an interesting one. And I think that when I wanted a zombie nerf, even though I main a zombie, it depends on the map. And I really do like her. I think this will actually defeat the purpose of a zombie. And I really hope they don't put this in. But the Kiva barrier now has a health pool, which is kind of cool. And then allowing it to be destroyed by um, by bullets, which I think defeats the purpose. It's supposed to be a barricade. And I think destroying it with bullets is a little cheap. I think you should have to push it and punch it or use a Zofia and Ash charge. I, I don't know. But whatever. Um, we're going to get a new weapon, finally. Apparently, this is the .44 Vendetta. 
Uh, rumor, uh, a kid on my stream, I forgot who it was, told me that it was another, it was a side, it was a secondary weapon. Which, personally, if it really is going to be, like, a, another revolver or something like that, I'm kind of a little upset about that. I would rather see a new main, um, like, a primary weapon to be put into the game. I mean, there's so many primary weapons we could do. Look at just Call of Duty. Like, we put a lot of those guns in this game. But, I digress. I mean, well, it's interesting. Let's, let's see. Let's see what it's going to be. Um, and this .44 Vendetta is going to have 80 base damage. So, I think this is going to be a primary. I, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm sure you could look, we could look it up here. I'm just reading, um, little recoil and, um, ranked rewards. Now this is interesting. We're going ranked rewards, new helmet for thermite earned for reaching at least gold. Seems like they're testing new rewards and community feedback on further rewards. Ranked rewards is kind of interesting. All right. I, I kind of like this idea of ranked rewards. I think it's kind of cool to have a skin. Instead of just a banner, maybe a gun, uh, if you get like a gun charm, a, a gun skin maybe, or attachment skins with like the rank on it would be kind of cool. Or like I said, a helmet or, you know, something to show your rank just a little bit more would be kind of interesting and kind of fun. Not that it's really needed into a, in the game. It's kind of like the changes that we never really asked for, but like fix your servers, Ubisoft. Come on, just freaking fix your servers. That's all we ask. I don't care if we all had iron sights. I would just want to be able to load into a game where my ping is consistent and I'm not being put in, you know, South American servers and to Germany and then back to the U.S. Like, it's getting kind of, it's getting nuts. Like, fix it. All right? Just fix it. Fix your game. But I digress on that. So, yeah, the 1.5 being taken away. What's, what's my, what are my thoughts on it? Well, I think the 1.5 site has been out for, what, two, three years? I feel like the 1.5, if we really wanted to take it away, should have been taken away, like, four seasons ago. And uh, now that we've had, you know, uh, uh, three years or two years playing with the 1.5, we're all used to it. It's going to change the meta of the game. I'm not a fan of the 1.5, but I really think that, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, it's just, like... I'm glad, but I'm not glad because it's really just it. It's kind of like we've adapted to the 1.5 site, and now we have to unadapt to it. So I would rather have them give everybody all the sites, and we can all choose from what sites we want. So that way, people can't complain about you could see me a mile away. Well, you could also see them a mile away if you use the right site. That would be cool. But I mean, hey, look, we're gonna get a meta change. We're gonna get ACOGs back on defense. It, it it they're trying to stop this and i said this on stream today too they're going to try and stop this call of duty mentality that's plagued the game and i've mentioned it in some of my videos and i'm kind of glad they're they're doing that but i also think that um it's not going to help as much i don't know i think the 1.5 site being taken away is a change that we never really asked for it is a w depending on how you look at it um I, as well, don't really have a problem with the 1.5. It just makes, I feel like, as an attacker, I played a little bit slower, knowing that, you know, I could get spawn peak from a mile away. But that's just me. I kind of miss Old Siege, but we'll never get that Old Siege vibe back. It's just kind of be kind of like looking through a glass window. And we might be able to experience that Old Siege, or at least new people will be able to experience that Old Siege, but it will never be the same game that it was uh, nine years ago, believe it or not. So with that being said, we're getting the 1.5 site taken away, most likely, allegedly. Who knows? And honestly, if Ubisoft doesn't do that, that would be the ultimate troll, and actually it would be pretty funny, and maybe they'll just switch it up on us and go, hey, we fixed our servers. Uh, <laughs> no, probably not. But hey, that's, that's just my rant here. I appreciate everyone hanging out for it, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video. May the force be with you, and peace.